Congressman John Yarmouth was here at Assumption High School to announce the winners of a congressional art competition, and he spoke to reporters about many of the same topics that Senator Mitch McConnell spoke to them about just one day before. Senator McConnell's view of infrastructure is an 18th century one. Congressman Yarmouth agrees roads and bridges are important infrastructure projects, but he says so too are internet access and electric car charging stations. We know that at least uh, part of our transportation future is going to be electric vehicles. You have four. Uh, General Motors has committed to 100% uh, all electric vehicles in the next 10 years, and Ford is, is uh, concentrating on that. All the manufacturers are moving that direction. Yarmouth also says the government needs to do more to get more people vaccinated. What the president is going to announce, I think, today is a, a greater emphasis on getting out into rural communities and places where it's, there's not as much access as there is in a, an area like Louisville. I fully support that. He also spoke in support of earmarks, banned for over a decade and now back. But unlike before, they are no longer anonymous. Members of Congress know what is most needed in their district, as opposed to bureaucrats who are who are uh, administering the competitive grant program, which is where how the other 99% of, of discretionary spending will, will be decided. Yarmouth has submitted a list of 10 projects he will consider, including health education simulation equipment at Bellarmine University, a new youth build community center for Smoketown, and a project for Park Duval to eliminate sewer odors there. They have to be for either, either a governmental or a nonprofit organization. They can't go to for-profit organizations. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY 